G'day guys, we're up in Trey Parle, 2,200 metres, and it's recovery day today. So JD and I are gonna bomb down into Lavigno Centre, go get a coffee and relax in the sun. Are you getting more toilet paper than you? No. I JD and I just parked up at the cafe, got a bit of crostata, some coffee, probably just sit here at least four hours, I reckon, way longer than we're going to train today, because we're at altitude, it's pretty grippy if you do too much on a recovery day, so probably going to go home, lay in bed for a little bit. JD, what'd you do yesterday? Did three hours with some cheeky sprints, then a heat session on the rollers to finish it off. I did five hours with some really, really grippy efforts, so I'm a bit busted up today. Um, JD, we had, we had a race that was meant to be our first one back, got cancelled, so we're up here for another four days then, so that'll make four weeks total at altitude for me because I came almost directly from Isola uh, preparing for the tour, but that didn't happen, uh, as you're probably aware. And uh, so, yeah, now I'm back in, back in uh, Lavigno and I'll do another two weeks here and get ready for the next block of racing and then hopefully the Vuelta in the back half of the year, which will be good. What do you reckon, JD? Muy bien. <laughs> Ça va? Ça va. <laughs> All right, JD and I are about to do a bit of a Rico day sprint. No, we're not. We are. If I don't do something on a Rico day, my legs turn into jelly. So, these are my legs. They're JD's little legs. Who's your money on? At this pink, wait, you dog! <laughs> wait, come on. Are you for the boys or not? All right, we go from the bus stop. Been beaten by a man Let the legs with do the talking. Beaten by a man with half a liver. <laughs> what did you hit? 1306. Fuck. 1240. Solid. Right, for anyone actually wondering how easy we ride on recovery days. I have 168 average, 36 minutes. I mean apart from that hard sprint, pretty bloody cruisy. Keeping it easy. But JD's absolutely boxed. He wants to go home. 
I don't know if he's made for this life. <laughs> All right, so JD and I are back from our recovery ride now. We had about an, about an hour in the end, I think, to finish off about a 26 hour week, so pretty solid. Good to have a bit of fun in there, keep the morale high for the next week of training. As for the rest of today, we're probably just going to take it easy, have a nice lunch, bit of a massage and just relax, maybe watch a bit of Netflix. And then after dinner, we've been going for some afternoon hikes. It's absolutely unreal scenery here with the mountains. So check out some sunset this afternoon might be nice and I'll give you guys a look at that. This is our sponsor, Sylvain Hakan. So did I say your name right? Sylvain Hakan, hello. Yes. <laughs> Hakan. <laughs> He's giving a massage to a rider at the moment. So, Sylvain, this episode is about a rest day on training camp. So, what do you do on the rest day? On the rest day, it's also my rest day. Eh? So, this morning I went for a ride, a little bit, one hour 20. Oh, that's and a big one. No, that's okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, three massages this afternoon. And not me on the table. Sorry? I don't get a massage today. Not today, I hear sorry. <laughs> to tomorrow you can come, you're welcome. <laughs> and is it hard giving massage at 2,200 meters? No, I feel okay, it's okay. The first few days maybe yeah, you have a little bit of uh, acclimatation, but now it's okay, I'm feeling good. <laughs> it's a good thing that you're so strong. <laughs> so I have strong, strong arms, so it's okay, it's always <laughs> easy. <laughs> Sylvain was at the tour last year with us, you really enjoyed it. Uh, we've been together to the tour last year, I remember. <laughs> uh, it's much sadder watching it this year though, isn't it? It's easier to watch than to be on the tour, but yeah, it's always good to be on the tour, so... <laughs> <laughs> All right, mate, enjoy the massage. Thank you. <laughs> Here's JD pretending he's going to play soccer professionally in a few years. Guy's got ankles weaker than twigs. Ciao.